can't handle the truth. Have you ever come home from the market and looked through your purchases and told yourself that you spent too much money? Or have you ever completed a transaction or a deal and come away from the negotiation table feeling that I could have gotten better if only I had tried harder? Well, if you have, this video is for you because today I want to talk to you about the hustler's rules for effective negotiation. Hello everybody, my name is Ifan Yuban. This is 360 Degree Mastery. This is the channel where we teach you personal effectiveness, self-mastery, and how to create, grow, and manage your wealth. Like I said before, um, a lot of times we do transactions and we feel that the other person has gotten the best of us and that is normal. But if you learn these rules that I'm about to give you, these hustler's rules, you apply them, you work on them, then most of the time, 95% of the time, you will come away from the transaction knowing that you have gotten something good for yourself and you'll be satisfied with the outcome now rule number one is for you to have a range of figures before you go in have a range of figures in mind before you begin any transaction that way you will know the kind of outcome that you are working for going into a transaction without having an idea of what you want from that transaction is like going into a fight without knowing who you want to win that fight okay so rule number two is for you to do your homework before you go in know the product you want to buy or sell know the person you are transacting with have an idea of who that person is a little bit of background knowledge goes a long way so that way when the person makes an offer you know what to counter with you know the kind of leverage that you can use you know the kind of bargaining chips that you can put on the table to get the best out of that transaction rule number three is for you to be flexible all right and um you know compromise sometimes when necessary it is very very important um there is no transaction there's nobody that gets 100 percent what they want 100 percent of the time it is very important that you learn how to be a little bit of flexible you know give a little get a little never give the person the impression that you are playing hardball all the way that is rule number three rule number four is for you to never be in a hurry to close a deal personally if i want to go into a negotiation i make sure that i use the bathroom first and make sure that i have eaten a little bit of something so that way uh, physically i am okay i'm not hungry i'm not pressed i'm not uncomfortable in any way i can sit with you and discuss for as long as necessary we can haggle for as long as necessary because there is an outcome that i want to get it is very very important okay make sure that you are relaxed and calm when you are going in for a negotiation it is very very important okay rule number five is whenever possible okay get the deal in writing or record it get the deal the transaction the process get it in writing or get it recorded because you never know anybody can go back on an agreement okay um people are not as you know much of gentlemen as they were a long time ago so when you're doing any transaction if the person if you reach an agreement get that agreement in writing get that person to commit in writing or record that conversation for future reference it may not come in handy i hope it doesn't but you never know what might happen rule number six is for you to be ready to walk away from any transaction if it does not favor you Personally, I never go into any deal, um, any negotiation that I am not ready to walk away from. Nothing is ever, uh, you know, uh, do or die. Nothing is ever hard and fast. If the deal does not favor you, if it's not going in the direction you want, you can request for a recess. We can come back tomorrow and continue discussing this. Or if the person does not agree, if the person's hard line is too strong for you, then you'd walk away from that transaction. Always be ready to let anything go. It is very, very important. And then finally, rule number seven is for you to, um, you know, give your offer first. Give your offer first. If that person asks you, oh, what do you want for this thing? You tell, you know, do not tell the person, oh, what do you want? You tell me what you want and I'll tell you if it's acceptable. No, give an offer first. It's a psychological edge. If something is worth 5 million and I tell you that thing, uh, I want 10 million for it. Okay, the person already, will, he will be thinking in terms of your figure. He wants to bring it down to maybe 8 million, 7 million, 6 million. At the end of the day, you might land on that 5 million that that thing is what I may get a little bit more. If you allow the person to give you his or her figure first, they will give you something that is below the market value of that thing. And then you will now have to struggle to bring up the figure to something that is acceptable to you. So always try in any negotiation to give your own figure first to give your own bid first that way um it will it will help the transaction to swing in your favor how do you see this video if this video was helpful please go ahead and click like share this video with somebody who needs it subscribe to my channel check out my online store the address is there at the bottom of the screen okay saskeventures.com continue to observe the safety protocols it's very very important follow me on social media for more content and i will see you next week with more tips more information on how you can be a better happier and wealthier person with peace of mind namaste